Hi everyone. I'm going to talk about Mozilla Hubs, which could be useful for chatting with friends or for hackathons like this COVID-19 challenge. I'll do a quick slideshow, then show you in my browser how you can get started. It's a platform for remote collaboration, and the social aspect could reduce isolation. It's another way we can meet online. About myself, I'm Dave Pentecost. I've had a long career in technology and media. I was a television editor and producer for many years. I built and ran a planetarium and a community center, and I have taught 3D animation and scene building. In recent years, I've worked mainly in Unity in open space, which is a free open source astronomy visualization program, and I've also worked in AR and VR. Why use Mozilla Hubs? We all know about the need for social distancing and remote collaboration. I am not a big fan of Zoom, so I looked for an alternative that offers better privacy and shared spaces. What is Mozilla Hubs? It's a free open source social chat platform created by the makers of the Firefox browser. It runs in a browser and can be used by all devices and VR. Firefox and Chrome are the best browsers to use, but on iPhone, Safari works better for some features. To get started with Hubs is very simple. You go to hubs.mozilla.com, sign up with your email, create a generic room, change the scene for the room if you like from a choice of pre-built environments. You can then pick an avatar from some of their many choices. The avatars are very simple, some like toys or robots, others more human, but they avoid the uncanny valley and the simplicity allows all this to work in a browser. You can also customize or create your own. Each time you enter a room, you have to specify if you want your microphone off or on. It's a couple of clicks and it makes sure that you know whether or not you can be heard. You can immediately share a link with friends to invite them in to chat and explore. You don't have to use a pre-built environment. You can create your own with a simple browser-based authoring program called Spoke. I'll show you that tool in a moment. We are still figuring all of this out and you can contribute to the project. Contact me with questions or better, join the Hubs Discord forum and chat with the support and development staff. They are friendly and helpful. And now to show you what I've been talking about. Switch to my browser. We start at hubs.mozilla.com. You can look at any news, go to the GitHub repository for the source code. Under community, you can join the Discord forum, go to the spoke authoring system, check out the documentation, or look into Hubs Cloud to find out about hosting your own hub system server on your own or on Amazon AWS. You can see I have already signed in with my email. You will register and they will send a link to click. From then on, they remember your settings and your avatar. Then click on Create a Room. You get the default scene, very simple and low poly, and you get a random name for your room, which you can change. You can determine some of the permissions given to other people who will use the room, and you can pick an avatar. If you don't like the default scene, you can choose one from dozens of available scenes. Some are more office-like, some more imaginative. For now, I will choose this Spanish coast scene. You first appear in the lobby, as they call it. You can see the scene, but you are not in as an avatar yet. You can choose to enter in a VR headset or just on your computer screen. You will click through to set your microphone off or on. And then you navigate in the scene with arrow keys or WASD. Some of your feature choices include screen sharing or webcam, as in Zoom. You can toggle the mic on or off. You can go to several sources of 3D assets. 
including Google Poly and Sketchfab. You can choose a different scene or change your avatar. This is a custom avatar I made from a selfie at avatarsdk.com. See the docs or the Discord for help with this. There are many avatars to choose from. Now we're back. We can take a selfie in the scene or shoot a video. If the menus get in the way, you can hit the tilde key to toggle them. Hit the camera icon again to toggle the camera off. A couple of other things are useful for collaboration. You can drag a document or a link into the scene. First, a PDF which you can step through and share with others. To get rid of the document, you can go to the Object tab in the upper right, find that object, right-click, and choose Remove. You can do the same thing with a link. In this case, a link to a GitHub repository. Drag it in, and it shows a thumbnail. Anybody in the scene can link on it and have it open in their browser in another tab. And you can share and collaborate on code if you like. And back to our scene. Just a few more things to look at. Besides the documentation on the Hubs page, Mozilla Support has more tips at support.mozilla.org. There is Spoke, the authoring program I mentioned, at hubs.mozilla.com spoke. Here is the planetarium COVID scene I'm working on in Spoke, which I may use on the May 31st hackathon. It's an easy way to create a 3D scene, publish it, and have it available to create a room. And here is that spoke created scene as a room. Click a few times to set the mic, and here we are. We have a web page, a 3D model, a video report, and a shared document that anyone who comes here can edit together. One last thing, in the hamburger menu, top left, you have some choices, including close room. That will delete the room entirely and prevent anyone from using it again. If you plan to come back or share the room, you will want to either hit the share button to get a short link or copy the URL for the page. To leave the room ready for later, Use the text entry box at the bottom. As soon as you type a slash, you get a menu of text commands. Pick slash leave and type it in to leave the room gracefully. Thanks. I hope you find this useful. And I'll see you in hubs.